Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day vlog. I have a lot to get done today, so I'm gonna jump right in. I have been taking a little break from the Dalgona coffee phase, and lately every morning I've been making like a vegan frappuccino, but it's like much healthier than an actual frappuccino at Starbucks. So, what I've been using, obviously ice. I've got some vanilla almond milk. I like adding cocoa powder because the mocha frappuccinos were always my favorite. I use a little bit of this Swerve sugar-free sweetener. This is erythritol. Also, the almond milk is lightly sweetened too. Still just using instant coffee. If you don't want to use instant coffee, you could definitely freeze leftover coffee into ice cubes and use that instead. But this is decaf. I'm trying to just have caffeine on the days that I am exercising. And then the secret ingredient that makes it really good is xanthan gum. And I think you can find this just at regular grocery stores in the baking aisle. I think Bob's Red Mill sells it. And this is used in a lot of gluten-free baking as a binder. And what it does if you add it to a smoothie is it prevents the ice from separating from the liquid. You know, like sometimes if you make like an icy frappe kind of beverage, the little ice particles will just float up to the top. This keeps them suspended equally throughout. So the entire thing is like nice and icy and Thick. So, do two cups of almond milk, pretty generous with the ice, I put just a little bit of this swirl stuff because it's, I mean it's supposed to be like a one to one sugar replacement. And if you use too much, it, it's, it's a sugar alcohol, so it tastes a little bitter if you use a large amount of it. Okay. Oh, and the xanthan gum. You need really just the tiniest amount of this, so I'm making two servings, and I'm probably just going to use like a heaping one-fourth teaspoon. And that should be good. We're all blended. See that? It just makes it so much thicker and then I like to top them with just a little bit of this Tarani dark chocolate syrup which is essentially just sugar and water and cocoa powder and chocolate liqueur just a little squiggle <laughs> actually, I actually really wish I had cocoa whip to top this with. That would be good. So breakfast is something I've been having a lot lately. I've been doing a ton of recipe testing for the blog, so I like to reserve my energy for all of that. And for all my other meals, I just try to make it quick and easy and simple. So this is a packet of the lower sugar, maple and brown sugar Quaker oats. And if you missed my previous videos. I like to cook it with very little water into like a cake and then drizzle almond milk over it. And then I've been eating a lot of fruit lately, comparatively, a lot of fruit for me. So this is, I think, a Fuji apple. I just buy whichever apples are on sale that are red. I don't really like sour green apples, but Fuji apple, I slice it up. So this is breakfast and the frappuccino. I'm going to go do some work and brainstorm what other recipes I want to share in today's video. Hey guys, so I am back to make lunch. Uh, last week we made a coconut red curry noodle soup and I have leftover rice noodles from that. So I thought we'd use these and throw together like a pad thai. I'm going to be kind of working off of a recipe from the Hot Thai Kitchen blog. I'll link it down below. It's really good. It does require a couple of like special ingredients that I got at the Asian market a while back. Um, let me go over all of this. Okay, so here I've got lots of minced garlic, lots of minced white onion. Typically I like to use shallots, but I just had onions. This stuff here is finely diced preserved radish. Let me show you the packaging. Looks like this. And there's a salty and a sweet kind, and the recipe specifies to get the sweet ones. Got some broccoli, 
lots of green onions in the back here, and then some julienne carrots. And then of course I have lots of mung bean sprouts. I think I'm also gonna put in the rest of this spinach just because I haven't been that great about getting in green, so why not? I have these uh, dried chili peppers that I got when I was in Bali. Hi. So <laughs> <laughs> They're super, super potent. So I'm probably gonna add only one or two max to this. And then I mixed my sauce here. So this is, I have low sodium soy sauce. And then traditional Pad Thai contains fish sauce and Hot Thai Kitchen recommended using this soybean paste, fermented soybean paste. And it just has that like funky kind of salty, fishy flavor. Really good, again, found this at the Asian market. And then this is palm, palm sugar. I was gonna say palm oil, palm sugar. They typically come in those like pucks. And what I did was just cover them in boiling water until they kind of dissolved because otherwise you have to like chop them up and they tend to get hard in the pantry. So I just dissolve them so I can just use it in liquid form. Is there anything else in here? Oh, tamarind paste. Again, this is like a salty kind of sweet flavor. If you don't have this, I think you can technically use lime juice. It'll be just a little bit different, but I think it's worth picking this up if you go to the Asian market. It's not that expensive. And this jar has also last me for over a year at this point. Okay, I think that's everything. And then also Eric, rehydrated and then stir fried some of these soy curls. So that's gonna be our protein today. I'm putting Eric in charge of the stir fry procedures. I'm stir fry father, <laughs> but you can call me daddy. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. This big, gigantic, heavy butcher's block. Birthday gift. Birthday gift for both of us. All right, so onion and the radish and the broccoli first. There may have been a little garlic that got in there. High heat. Where's my stir? Oh, do we have peanuts? Yeah. We do? Wait. Are we out of peanuts? No, well, we have a big jar of peanuts, remember? I'm gonna go chop some peanuts. BRB. All right, the broccoli's vibrant. The onion is browned. So I've been uh, instructed <laughs> to put everything else in. <laughs> if I can get it in the pan. Oh. Fabric colors. Ooh, gonna throw a little pepper in there. All right, ready? Here she comes. Making it spicy. Oh, look at all the seeds. Are we gonna grow peppers again this year? I don't know. I'm gonna put the fan on so we don't get smoked out by the, the roasting chili peppers. Noodles going in. <laughs> That's good TV right there. Sauce man. Sauce. All right, so we picked up this special, very special ingredient from the from H Mart, the Asian market yesterday. <laughs> it's MSG. For decades, everyone said MSG was bad for you and it causes headaches and it ruins your body. But it's MSG and it's been proven that it's not bad for you. So I'm gonna take a big old pinch here <laughs> and I'm gonna sprinkle it on there. Do a little more than that. It basically, it's like kind of, it's mildly salty but it has like an umami glutamate flavor, which enhances any savory dish. And if you're worried about MSG, look at the snacks you eat. It's probably MSG in it. Bean sprouts. Does it look like there's enough sauce? I would say so. Oh yeah. The last ingredient. I forgot about these. They really do taste like chicken. Yeah. It's really good. They're just water, or did you add anything to them? A little bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. Oh, okay. You like seasoned just, them. They're just so, they're still bland. Okay. And, like, and I seasoned them. But it's just plain soy, you know? Mm. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Sliced up some lime, chopped up some roasted salted peanuts. Unfortunately, I don't have any cilantro, but I usually put that on top of this as well. I'm, so I messed it up, I, I learned. It's fine. I stirred the ever-living crap out of it, and Sarah comes over, she's like, oh, it's stirred entirely too much. All the noodles are broken, I didn't even realize. When I cook things, I just... 
stir vigorously. Wow, it's so beautiful though. Yours is. I'm gonna photograph this really quick. <laughs> Give it a taste. Me? Yeah. Without you? Yeah. Let me just dig in here real quick, a little bit of everything. Is mm -hmm. it good? Is there enough sauce? Mm -hmm. Okay, I wasn't sure. I don't like, I don't like the over sauce. You know, we get these drunken noodles from this local restaurant and they're really good, but they're like sitting in a pool of sauce mm. at the end. I hit it with a little lime. Oh yeah, I put copious amounts of lime. It's not a very juicy line, is it? Mm -hmm. Really got it. Ah! <laughs> Can you compliment the soy curls? They're wonderful, baby. <laughs> They're so delicious. They're perfectly crisp. It's basically chicken pad thai. Yeah. With the soy curls. I've never actually had pad thai before going vegan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hot. So simple. You get any of those chilies in yours? Not yet. We're going through a noodle phase. Yesterday we made drunken noodles because we had been getting them takeout and we wanted to make them a little bit healthier and they were really good. Well, it's because we've been watching Korean shows mm -hmm. and they they eat noodles like every time we see them eat in the show, mm -hmm. they're eating noodles. It's so good. So I was going to make pasta e fagioli, which is like a bean and pasta soup dish for dinner, but since I made noodles for lunch, I'm going to try to come up with something else. Not that there's anything wrong with eating noodles twice in one day, but just for the sake of variety. I might try to make like a buffalo tofu salad or buffalo cauliflower. You'll see, obviously. Hey guys, so it's been a couple of hours. We just got back from working out. We did uh, like a 30 minute bike ride. I just, I've had a bike for a couple of years and for at least one of those years, my bike tube has been broken and I finally took the time to replace it since cardio is pretty much all I can do now since we can't go to the gym. So we went on a bike ride, took a little walk to get my steps in. I'm snacking on some barbecue plantain chips. These are from Thrive Market. These actually just got delivered today along with a couple of other things because you know how sometimes when you're ordering something, they give you the subscribe and save option? So I, I guess I did that when I originally ordered these to save like 20 cents and then I forgot to cancel the subscription. So these just showed up. Surprise. I'm gonna take a shower now. I'm gonna make like a crispy buffalo tofu salad for dinner. So I have been pressing my tofu under this textbook since before we left. And I think I'm gonna bread and air fry the tofu. I don't wanna use the oven now because it's really hot. Uh, but I'm gonna prep some ingredients and then I will update you. We're starting to make dinner. We're gonna make a big salad and we're gonna put breaded buffalo tofu on top. So I've got my tofu that I pressed a lot of liquid out of and I cubed it. And I'm going to dip it first in this batter, which is just cornstarch, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, salt, pepper, paprika, water, and a little bit of olive oil. And then here I have regular breadcrumbs with a little bit of salt in them. So I'm gonna put them in here, coat them, and then dunk them in here. And then probably spray them with a little bit of oil just to help them crisp, and then throw them in the air fryer. Then I'm gonna make like a really simple cashew ranch dressing. Okay. So these are all coated, so there's a lot of flavor in this, but then after I've crisped them up in the air fryer, I'm gonna pull them out and then toss them in buffalo sauce with a little bit of vegan butter. I usually use panko breadcrumbs for my breaded tofu, but I wanted to try it with just the regular kind. See if we like it. Here's our little breaded tofu nugs. Definitely put too many uh, breadcrumbs in here. Don't these look like delicious, like some sort of delicious des like dessert Squishy thing? Squishy. Sarah said mochi, which is Marshmallows. Accurate. Yeah, just like, they look like, they don't look like a spicy, savory yeah. treat. They're cute. They look like a little marshmallow confection. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna transfer them into our air fryer. Hit them with a little bit of vegetable oil. Hit them with a tss, tss. Yeah, that's right. Want to put them in? Sure, but... What's on the one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you eat one? I mean, I don't think it would be very delicious. There's raw corn flour in there. Cornstarch? Corn flour? 
I feel like in the UK they call it corn flour. No, in the UK they call it corn flour. Corn flour? Flour. You're a corn flour! <laughs> you can't copyright strike me because those aren't the words. <laughs> Cute. Is there going to be enough room in here? Yeah. For them all to not be touching? I'm going to make ranch dressing using my own recipe, which I'll have linked down below. I haven't made this in a long time. But here we've got soaked cashews, raw cashews, and water. And then we're going to add garlic powder, onion powder. Usually I like to use fresh herbs, but I don't have any. So I'm going to use dried chives and dried dill. Probably going to add a little bit of dried parsley too. Is that a good lettuce chop? Is that, is that a good size? Maybe. Length? Maybe the executive. Length? Yeah, go, go for it. I feel like typically we use Daya blue cheese dressing when we make the buffalo salad, but... We're doing something called health. Kind of trying to be a little healthier. What other vegetables should we put in here? Carrots. You want to put carrots? I could shred, I could shred a carrot or two. I got an avocado, a ripe avocado. I haven't oh, yeah. consumed an avocado in over a month at this point. Tell them about your taste aversions. Yeah, so I just randomly developed taste aversions to foods for like a couple weeks at a time. It's very strange. They usually pass though. Like there was a full year actually where I could not stand tempeh. And now I like it again. Oh, you know what? You're supposed to add the herbs in after you've pureed everything together because now this is just going to be a green dressing. Which doesn't really matter. It's just aesthetic. Oh, I never thought about that. <laughs> the last thing that I'm gonna add in, actually I'm gonna add salt and pepper, but I'm gonna also add in a little bit of this vegan friendly lactic acid powder, which I've talked about a couple times on the channel before. If you don't have this, you can just use lemon juice or a little bit of apple cider vinegar. But I find the flavor of this to be a little bit more convincing. It's gonna make this taste like buttermilk, essentially. Love me some buttermilk ranch. So I'm gonna add in salt. I got this salt pig as a secret Santa gift from one of Eric's sister's boyfriends. And it was really nice. And Eric filled it literally all the way to the top with salt the other day. I've been known to be <laughs> a salt bay of sorts. Remember earlier when I taught you what bay meant? Oh yeah. I asked Eric, I called him bay for some reason. And then I was like, what does that even stand for? Before anybody else. I Where did you learn that? Internet. I gave it a taste. I think I'm actually going to add a little bit more onion and garlic powder. I think it needs a little bit more pizzazz. A little more oomph. Especially the onion powder. So now I'm going to add more whole, not whole chives, but dry chives. And dried dill. A lot. Love me some dill. And then I'm going to add in some parsley. Have I made you my ranch dressing? We've been trying to eat healthier snacks, so we bought a bunch of crudités, we've got... How much do you want? A good amount. We've got celery, carrots, we've got some cauliflower we could chop up. Mm. And we've got some hummus, but this is also a great dip. dip that's kind of on the healthier side. Want me to cut this? I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it right, that's why she's going to do it. So we've got some of this I can't believe it's not butter vegan spread. I'm going to do like a tablespoon. Did it melt? Uh, it's fine. It's melting. <laughs> I sauced you. There you go. God damn it. Buffalo sauce is really uh in the eyeballs. Spicing up the eyeballs. Oh, they look they look so cute. Here's what these guys look like. Try one, will you? I will. I usually will throw it back in the oven of the air fryer just to bake the sauce on, but it's not strictly necessary. I'm so hungry though. You wanna eat now? Kind of. We are assembling our salads now. Got our lettuce. You sounded so surgical when you said that. We are assembling our salads. Scrubbed. <laughs> Carrot. Carrot. <laughs> kind of wish I had bought cherry tomatoes, not gonna lie. I mean, other than more... Um... <laughs> Drizzle? <laughs> Drizzle as you please. As you plizzle. I really do love this stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dip oh, all the Oh, here, in. can you do it? I need to... Chop up celery really quickly. Buffalo, um, you have to have celery. You know, I was gonna suggest it, but I didn't think you liked it that much, Maybe. so I didn't suggest it. I don't it. like it. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it in salads, but sometimes I just do things because it makes the dish look prettier in a photo. Badish. Like I put parsley on stuff because it looks pretty. And I will put celery in this because it is thematically consistent. Yeah, with ranch. This is way too much. 
Yeah, let me just try some. I'm gonna MSG one of these. Okay. I want to see if there's a discernible difference. That's entirely too much. Is it good? Actually, the celery is so refreshing right now. It is good. In the next video, this is gonna this jar is gonna be half empty. <laughs> wow, this is a, a real fiber bomb. I've consumed so much fiber today. Well, I had a cup of or not a cup. I had I had a quarter cup of grape nuts earlier. I had a box of grape nuts earlier. We went on a bike ride and I pooped. I didn't. I didn't poop. I mean, I, I pooped today. Can you stop asking me about my poop schedule? <laughs> I said nothing. This is just really visually appealing, honestly. Okay. So healthy, right? Mm -hmm. I said, am I right? Okay. How much do you want? All of it? Sure. Yeah. I'll just put it all, and then whatever leftovers I have, Leftover. you will eat. <laughs> That's our system. Beautiful. Okay. You know what I actually recently found out what MSG stands for? Are you gonna make a joke? Make good. You got a little close-up action here. Really poor lighting, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to eat this. I'm just gonna go ahead and... Uh, bring it? Just gonna go ahead and bring this with me because I know that I'm gonna want extra ranch. Okay, it's quite a bit later now. We were just watching some TV and having some snacks. We have baby carrots and this garlic hummus. And we finished off this bag of Paleo puffs, it's like vegan cheese puffs. They're pretty okay. And the last thing that I'm gonna eat for dessert is I took one of my croissants and I cut it in half and I put some chocolate chips on there. These are the dark chocolate chunks by Simple Truth. I'm gonna microwave it and make a little chocolate croissant. So you got the chocolate all melty. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this too. That sounds good. And we're gonna split this. Eric coming through with the foam light. I just wanted to show you the layers in the croissant. <laughs> I cut it in half. Okay. <laughs> it's like a haunted croissant. Hey guys, it's a couple days later. I'm back to do a little outro. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm gonna have any of the recipes that I referenced linked down below. And yeah, I hope you're doing well. And I will see you very soon. Trying to get back on my normal upload schedule. But yeah, thanks, bye.